Just a few British pilots are all that stand between Hitler and total victory in Europe. They're gonna need all the help they can get. The British have accepted you into the Eagle Squadron. You're on your way to England tomorrow if you still want to go. How could you do this? We'll do a little assignment. You want me to get some real, real combat training? Well, guess what? It's not training over there, it's war. Where the losers die and there aren't any winners, just guys who turn into broken down wrecks like my father. Yeah, I understand that, Danny, but I feel like I got a duty to go. Don't preach to me about duty, damn it. I wear the same uniform you do. Just for the record, I'm supposed to ask you to reconsider. Sir? Sooner or later, we're gonna be in this war whether we like it or not. And I'm gonna need all of my best pilots. So it's my duty to ask you to stay. But I'm going to the war. Tomorrow. I passed you. I let you through. Now you volunteer for the most dangerous place you can go. Major, what would you do? If it was me, I'd go. If uh, anything happens to me, I want you to be the one to tell her. Just make sure and come back for the both of us, all right? You know, he taught me to fly. I always knew, no matter what kind of trouble I got into, I'd never be in it alone. It's Rafe McCall. Best pilot and the best friend I ever knew or ever will know. Rafe sent his best friend to tell you so you would be okay. So you can move on. You gotta go on living it. Last night was crazy, I know, but I'm not sorry. Do you ever wonder if this war's gonna catch up with us? Not a whole lot. Every moment we're not together, you're up there training for it. I'm alive. It's the first I can get word out. I told you I'd come back. <laughs> Rafe, you died. So did I. You left her to fight somebody else's war. And you made damn sure that I didn't go with you. And we thought that you were dead. I almost did die. So don't stand here and tell me act like it's all right. Yeah, Rafe, well, I stayed. You're the only family I got. When you were gone, it's the loneliest I'd ever been. The same for her, too. Yesterday, December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy, the United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. Lieutenant Ray McCauley, Daniel Walker, you both go on stateside. Fly out in two hours. Couldn't have you go away without understanding something. I should have died over there. When I was in that water, I made a deal with God. And I promised I'd never ask for anything again. If I could just see her one more time. If someone stand by my end of the deal, I'll walk away. And I won't ask you for anything. But I just want to know why. Rafe, I'm pregnant. I haven't told Danny. I don't want him to know. All he needs to think about is how to do this mission and think back a lot. No, the only thing that scares me is that you might love him more than you love me. I love you, Danny. And I'll be here waiting for you when you come back. You've been trying to protect me since we were kids. You know, I've been thinking about how lucky you two are. We've been through a lot together. Going all the way back to flight training. You take care of yourself up there. Yeah, I will. Danny, be careful. You hear me? Same coach. I 
see the coast. Jets, you got jet patrols all over the place. There's jets everywhere. Danny, blast somewhere else. Danny! Right! Right now! Danny! You're not going to come. Look at me. Listen to me. You ain't going to die. Can you hear me? Danny. Danny, you can't die. You can't die. You know why? Because you're going to be a father. We may lose this battle, but we're gonna win this war. You know how I know? No. Them. Because they're rare. And at times like these, you see them stepping forward. I'll go, sir. I'll go too, sir. There's nothing stronger than the heart of a volunteer, Jack. Hey, Danny, how'd you like to go flying?